Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Well folks, with March almost over, I want to talk about science again. And today, I'd like to ask, has anyone ever participated or attended a science fair during their school ages? Well, from what I remember, I think I did, maybe during my elementary or middle school ages... Yeah, I know it's been years since those old days, so I may not remember precisely when I went to one of these, but I did see what they were like in certain films and shows, like Sticking Around, Wonder, Meet the Robinsons, and Osmosis Jones. However, since we're still in my Sophia the First memory lane, let's look at an episode where Sophia and her friends did an enchanted science project for Royal Prep. Airing on television on May 30th, 2014, this is Enchanted Science Fair. Now, let's get started. It's almost time for the Royal Prep Enchanted Science Fair, and Sophia and her classmates must pair up to work on their projects. When they discover that they need a magical ingredient known as Hocus Crocus, located at the top of Mist Bowl Mountain, they compete to see who can reach the summit first at the risk of their science projects and their friendships. Eventually, after losing the Hocus Crocus, the young royals make amends and team up together to make a floating solar system instead. So, what are my thoughts on this episode? Well, to be honest, while it did start out promising, the episode itself is pretty much a mixed bag in my eyes. And to further explain why I think so, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, the moral of this episode is there are things in life which are more important than winning. And to me, this is another lesson that I can identify with due to the fact that I value my friends and my family more than winning things. Plus, as Albert once said, You can get more things done working together than working against each other. As for the animation, well... I think Toeyon CGI is still awesome, and I think Mist Bowl Mountain is an interesting and challenging place to climb due to it being steep and windy, as well as having fragile crystal trees and musical mist geysers. Also, I must address a certain plot point, or MacGuffin in this episode, known as the Hocus Crocus Flower, which is a single flower that's said to only grow on the summit of Miss Bull Mountain once a year. During this episode, the Hocus Crocus is a very important magical ingredient for the Royal Children's Science Projects. And because of that, the Hocus Crocus becomes the first object in this series to represent an apple of discord, when a single wanted item becomes a major argument between multiple characters over who gets to have it. Now let's talk about the episode's song number. Friendship is the Formula, sung by Princess Sophia, her siblings, and her classmates while they make amends and work on a floating solar system together. Now to me, this is another memorable song in the series, and I absolutely love the song's message regarding friendship, and I think Sophia's wink at the end is really adorable. And now let's move on to the characters and the voice actors. Princess Sophia is voiced by Ariel Winter, who voiced young Kyrie in the Kingdom Hearts game series, Marina in Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Marlene from the complete version of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, young Trixie in Speed Racer, Penny Peterson in DreamWorks Mr. Peabody and Sherman, and Smurf Lily from Smurfs the Lost Village. In my eyes, Sophia has a pretty good role in this episode, due to the fact that ever since the Blue Ribbon Bunny episode, She's learned to put friendship before competition, and she tries to keep everybody together. Next we come to her siblings, Prince James and Princess Amber, voiced by Zach Callison and Darcy Rose Byrnes. During this episode, Amber and James's roles are pretty similar to how they were in the Tri-Kingdom Picnic and Princess Butterfly, due to them acting a bit too competitive. And to me, that behavior makes them pretty mean-spirited and immature. However, their reason for wanting to win the science fair is mainly for their dad's sake, despite the fact that they're on opposing teams. Next are Sophia's classmates, 
Princess Vivian, voiced by Sabrina Carpenter, Prince Desmond, voiced by Joshua Carlin, and Prince Khalid, voiced by Kamani Griffin. To me, while I do like that these three have an active role in this episode, I kind of have mixed feelings for their behaviors. For example, Khalid acts equally as mean, immature, and competitive as Amber and James while being embroiled in a race to get the Hocus Crocus. Vivian, who mostly seems shy and doesn't seem to like running, shows a reckless and aggressive side to her. And Desmond, the smartest student at Royal Prep, says that he's afraid of Amber because of her flashy nature and lack of listening skills. Next is Cedric the Sorcerer, voiced by Jess Harnell, a.k.a. Wacko Warner from the Animaniacs series. During this episode, while he's taking a break from trying to steal Sophia's amulet, Cedric helps the kids by giving them all the ingredients that they need for their projects. Later, Cedric tells them about Mist Bowl Mountain where the Hocus Crocus flower grows. Plus, he warns that there's enough for only one of their projects. Another character to talk about is Sophia, James, and Amber's dad, King Roland II, voiced by Travis Willingham, whom I remember as Foreteller Ased from Kingdom Hearts Key and Kuko from Elena of Avalor. Now, while Roland doesn't really add too much to this episode, I like the part where he tells Sophia, Amber, and James how he always wanted to win the science fair with a floating solar system, but he always failed because it was too big a project for two people to finish. However, even though Sophia and the others did not win the science fair trophy due to them working in a group of six, Roland is very happy and proud that his son and daughters were able to bring home the floating solar system that he always wanted to make. Last but not least, we come to Crankle the Ogre, voiced by Keith Ferguson, best known as Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Friend Owl from Bambi 2, Zuzo from Elena of Avalor, and Marluxia from the Kingdom Hearts game series. This character guards the entrance to Miss Bull Mountain, and the only way to get past him is for someone to solve his riddle, which is, what's more valuable than gold, but doesn't cost a penny, it's hard to find, but easy to lose. Now, I hate to spoil a riddle, but the answer is a friend. Gee, I haven't shared a riddle on my blog series since my blog of My Little Pony Best Gift Ever. Also, I must mention that Crankle makes an appearance later in Season 3 during the Princess Prodigy episode. Anyway, let's move on to my final words. Overall... Enchanted Science Fair is not one of my favorite episodes in Sophia's TV series, but it's not a terrible one. Despite the mean-spirited, immature, and competitive behavior from three of the young royals, the animation is still great, the adventurous aspect was handled pretty well, there were some cool bits of trivia, plenty of good twists and turns, good humor, and good character interactions while trying to get the Hocus Crocus. The musical number where Sophia brings everybody together to work on the science project was a nice song to listen to, and it ends on a good moral on how friendship and teamwork are the key to success, even if it's not worded that way. So, I give this episode a 72% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Join me during the beginning of April, where I look at a silly episode where several animals get scrambled. Mustang Power. As I look at the ground, I look at the sky, I ask how come, just gotta know why. So much to learn, so much to find, I'm reading about science is blowing my mind. Science. It's in the unity of the tree. Science. It's in the leaf in me. Zoology, science and the study of animal kind. Science. Ecology, a science all about the human mind. Biology, science that deals.